Now, any minute, Israel goes from the saddest day on the calendar, Memorial Day, to its happiest, Independence Day. Carl Quintanilla in Jerusalem as the small country of Israel announces it's got a lot of big business. Carl? Aaron, uh, it's about 9.30 local time here in the evening. A lot of celebrations already taking place. And you see uh, uh, the, uh, the wall that borders the old city behind me. Pretty soon there'll be fireworks and laser shows all commemorating the 60th anniversary of Israel's independence. It's a big deal. You know, you know the Middle East, Aaron, and it's amazing what Israel has been able to put together in terms of its economy, given the various threats that it still faces every day, even though it might not be in the news back in the States. We visited one town called Starot. Uh, where missiles, literally half a dozen missiles are raining on the town every day. Uh, ambulances come up, bomb squads show up, factories have to shut down, the workers go to shelters, and then when the, when the all-clear is given, they go right back to work. It's an amazing managerial challenge. Uh, wireless and telecom, drug making, all of those things were big things for Israel in the past. Now it's about green technology. We visited one a desalination plant earlier in the week where the country is literally getting 13% of their water supply from the Mediterranean Ocean, which is being filtered by this giant plant and set directly uh, into the national water supply. Electric cars are going to be big. There's a big business tycoon here who has managed to uh, retrofit a Renault with a battery where the car will now go zero to 60 in just eight seconds, not the golf cart image that we normally get when we talk about electric cars. He thinks that could be a test market in the U.S. in the year 2012. So a lot going on here, Aaron, uh, and a lot of money being funneled in. As a result, GDP this year is going to be more than 3%. Wow. All right, Carl, thank you so much. As Carl gets ready for the fireworks, you can see all of his reports from Israel on our website, cnbc.com.